Hello, my name is Michael Bennett. I'm a primary school teacher and teacher trainer. I've been working for over 10 years in bilingual schools in Madrid, Spain. I teach English as a second language to young learners, both in a more formal English classroom setting as well as in CLIL environments. One of my main goals as a teacher is to not only address content, but to inspire creativity and boost imagination, both in my students and in my fellow teachers. An age-old resource that accomplishes both of these goals is storytelling. As you can see, I love books and stories, and especially love sharing stories with others. In this presentation, I'd like to share how, by using Google Slides, teachers can enrich this activity by opening a wide range of possibilities that can enhance the storytelling experience. So let's have a look at how to make choose your own adventure stories using Google Slides. To accomplish this, we'll be using a hyperlink function. Within Google Slides, we can add hyperlinks to different elements within the presentation, images, boxes, or even text. Uh, to do so, we click on the insert link. Now, instead of linking to things outside of the presentation, we will be linking to different slides within the presentation. I've done this with the different buttons that I've included on the different slides. So in this particular story about Halloween night, where listeners will have to decide whether to go with friends to visit an abandoned haunted house or to stay home, if they choose to go with friends, they can just click on this button and it would take them to slide five. Or if they wanted to stay home, it would take them to slide two. And depending on which slide they go to, they'll be confronted with a different series of decisions to be made. Now one thing I'd like to point out is when choosing the images I'd recommend using the search the web function just because of the filters that are applied for usage rights. Also we can use the speaker's notes to leave notes for ourselves about how to tell the story in the classroom or even for other teachers if they wanted to use this. Now let's have a look at uh, uh, what this would look like in the classroom. Ideally we would project this uh, especially on a digital whiteboard or something interactive where students could actually touch the whiteboard on one of the different buttons and go to different parts of the story. Now as we tell the story, all the kids can see the story because it's bigger even than a big book. They can talk among themselves. It works on social skills and listening skills, and making decisions. It sparks their imagination, their creativity, and it just enhances the overall storytelling experience.